Hello everyone, my name is Julia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you like looking damp and glossy and... <laughs> What an odd way to start this. If you like makeup and talking about things, and this is probably a great place for you, and I would love if you would subscribe. Today, we're going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart. That's my, my eyebrows. Um, I've gone through a lot of phases with them. I used to really love like kind of like the Instagram block brow. I went through a phase where I wanted it to look like harsh lines. I used to fill them up with powder. I used to, you know, put all sorts of lotions and potions in. But now I'm at the stage where I really like this, like, brushed up fluffy brow. Um, which, like, I think like, two years ago, if you told me I liked this look, I'd be like, that's disgusting. But I like it now, and I get a lot of comments on them. So today I want to show you how I do them. So the most probably important tool you're going to need is a brow gel with a really, really strong hold especially if you have brows like mine. I have naturally curly hair. So obviously the brows on my face are going to like go in all random crazy directions. So I really need something that's going to hold them in place. I used to use Glossier Boy Brow. I used um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel, but honestly nothing comes close to the Refi Brow Sculpt. It is incredible. Um, probably the strongest hold of any product I've ever used. And if you look at it, it has this fun little comb on the end. So it has this comb bit and then this brush bit. And I find a lot of times, especially when I was working in Sephora and teaching people how to use this, this comb bit with the curve was often a source of confusion for some people about how to use it. So I wanted to show you how I personally use it. So I like doing my brows basically first thing in the morning um, because all the product is going to stick better to your skin when you don't have sunscreen on or lotion or sunscreen, anything. So what I do is I wash my face just with some water and then I come in here and I do my brows and then I'll put on my sunscreen and do the rest of my makeup like that. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. And I'm going to try to show you as much as I possibly can and as much detail as I can, but I do have to like hold this up so I can see what I'm doing. So I apologize if I get in the way at all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a spoolie. This is just a random elf spoolie, doesn't really matter what it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna comb my brows in the opposite direction of where they normally lay. So they normally go this way, so I'm gonna brush them this way. And this is essentially teasing your brows, you're teasing your hair. If you need to do a really strong updo and you want it to stay exactly where you put it, you tease your hair to give it strength and make sure it holds where you put it. You're basically doing that to your brows. You're also, what you're doing in this step is lifting them off your skin so they'll actually move where you want them to. If they're stuck to your skin because of like oils or yesterday's brow product or whatever, it's not gonna, they're not gonna go where you want them to go. So in this step, I'm actually just ensuring that when I move them, they're gonna go where I want them to go. They don't have to look good. This is not a, this is not a beauty step. This is a utilitarian step. So. After that, I'm gonna go in with my Refi, Refi, however you wanna say that, um, brow sculpt. This is basically glue with the, with the spoolie brush on it, but something really important to do is you want to roll the product in. So what you're gonna do, let me get a little bit closer. You're gonna start at the root of your brow, right down there, and you're going to roll as you come up. Roll the product, roll. Just like that. Roll the brush. This wand has little grooves in it where product sits. So by rolling the product in, we're ensuring that hairs get trapped in those little grooves and then get as much product on them as we can. Awesome, so now everything is really nicely coated. I'm just gonna wait about 
five or six seconds for the glue to start to tack up. It's kind of like eyeshadow. It's kind of like eyelash glue. You want to give it some time so that when you go to mold it, you're actually like setting them in place. And I'm going to use the comb side first and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So I'm going to do the same kind of rolling technique with the comb side. So this kind of curved edge is supposed to fit with the natural curvature of your face. Some people don't have that curvature, but by rolling it and kind of making it separate those brow hairs, you're kind of mimicking that curvature. It's gonna go a lot better than just going like that. So I'm gonna show you again. Just ro roll it. And obviously this isn't a circle like the last one, so it's more of like a rocking motion. So rock forward and back. Rock forward and back. Rock forward and back. And also I'm gonna take some time to like finesse the tail. And for this I'm not rocking forward and back because they're already basically glued down. So I just want to use the comb to separate them a little bit. So I'm digging in at like a 45 degree angle to get underneath the hair and lift it up a little bit so I can put it down where I want it to go. And at this point is when you would do like the rest of your shaping work. So if you wanted to like create like a flatter line at the top, if you didn't want that like super feathered look, if you wanted to like clean up the bottom or the edges, this is when you would do it. But this is basically the shape that I like going for. So now I'm gonna use this side, the brush side, to stick them down to my skin. So what you're, gonna, what you're aiming for now is to stick them against your forehead. And like I said, this step is going to work a lot better if you don't have sunscreen or other oils on your face. And that's when we're done. So this is the difference. <laughs> Not done, done. And I just think it lifts my entire face. You'll see when I put my glasses back on, because I wear those glasses and I already have that harsh feature on my face, it really does look nice to have this kind of higher brow that kind of frames those, frames the frames. So I really like doing that. So um, BRB, I'm just gonna go do my next brow and then I'll be right back. Awesome, so you'll also probably notice that I have a little bit of redness around my brows when I do that, I have like incredibly fair skin that, you know, it just turns red when I touch it. It's not anything about the glue or anything. I'm fine, don't worry. But this is the final brow look. I'll put my glasses on so you can kind of see what I mean with that like framing effect. And like I said, this works really well with the brow sculpt because of like that unique shape of those bristles. But it, this would also work with uh, like brow soap on a spoolie or um, a hard wax like the Patrick Ta or the Anastasia. It would also work with like the Patrick Ta uh, Major Brow in the tube. Anything like that would totally work. Um, I do want to try out soap, but I'm afraid it's not gonna hold enough, but you know, we will try it. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Maybe I'll like do an updated brow routine, but let me know if this works for you. I really think the game changer is like the rolling step to get all your hair coated. That was really like, like I said, it's a game changer step for me and I really want to know how it works for you. Let me know if this is helpful. Obviously, this is just to get like this style of brow. So I would love to know your brow routines in the comments below. We can all learn from each other and get like the best brows of our lives. That'd be really fun. So like I said, subscribe, like the video if you want to, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.